Yo, what's up, guys? This is Thornton Cup Blade Blade. I'm your host, Andrew. Today, we have the SD brand latest release Cobalt, Dragoon, Black Shell, and Wise Tiger. Believe me or not, I personally anticipate getting these bay in my hand because they got the first ever left spin Beyblade egg. And please watch this video till the end because some of these bay are dual spin. And disclaimer, we don't against buying fake Beyblade, but buy it at your own risk because it might contain lead. Without further ado, let's start with Cobalt Dragoon. The logo is always missing the Beyblade X branding, which is very common for fake Beyblade. 260 also missing the Takara Tommy branding. Click clack boom. And for the bit, it's a two part bit with Philip head screw intact. And here is the fun part about this Beyblade. So it works pretty well with left spin and it's because it's a left spin Beyblade. But let's try it with right spin. It fits perfectly. What the heck? So the fake manufacturer actually jailbreak this Beyblade. This Kobo Dragoon is still spin. Next up, we got Black Shell. It's missing the Beyblade X logo. The metal is definitely more shiny. The back looks pretty good, color is a bit off from the ratchet, and we got the dot bit. The belt looks pretty good, pretty sturdy, let's try it with right spin launcher, it works. And for left spin, it does not. So this black shell is not dual spin. And lastly, we got wise tiger. I think the biggest feature of the real Wise Tiger is that it has a gun metal finish. The color on the red is not right, but the fit is nice and the Unite bit, nothing really special, it fits good, but it does look like a taper and it fits right spin, of course, and left spin too. Wow, I'm really impressed. SB brand just buff these Beyblade with dual spin. Wow. This is actually very common to see in fake Metal Fusion Beyblade, which makes fake Beyblade more fun to play with. And you know what time it is? It's fake and real comparison time. Let's start with Cobalt Dragoon. The first telltale sign should be the metal finishing. The real one has a gun metal finish. Beyblade X logo is missing on the fake one and pay attention to the burst resistant lock. You can see that the fake one on the left has the first gen design, more squared, so it should have more burst resistance. For the ratchet, it's a real sexy. The fake one has a more shiny finish, and the real one has a matte finish. Yup, it's a real sexy. Of course, it's missing the Takara Tommy branding and the LR sign. Next up, we got the Cyclone bit. They're actually using the right color. So the only difference is the fake one is using a Phillip head screw. And then we got Wise Tiger. Logo design is different. The fake one has a bigger white tiger. Missing Beyblade X logo as well. Metal finish is different. The fake one is more shiny on the left. Same thing to the Wise Tiger. The burst lock is the first gen design more squared and here we have circle it and then let's look at the ratchet definitely has a different color choice the fake one has a more like a bone white color compared to the real one has the same height so it's a real sexy and here we have comparing it with a high taper on the left which is the black one the real unite is more round and that's the difference for Black Shell, it's the same thing. I think they have a different logo design. The turtle is way bigger on the fake one on the left. But detail is here, so uh, I'll give it a pass. Same thing to the burst resistant lock. The fake one is more squared, so it has more burst resistant logically. Different color choice on the ratchet. The fake one has a really dark green. And I think this time they got it right, it's a real 70. And for the dot, the dot on the fake one is more blurry, and that's the difference. So overall, I think they did a very good job on the ratchet and the bit. 
as well as the buff on the burst resistant lock. Let's do some weight tests. Cobalt Dragoon first. 37 for the blade, and the whole bay blade weights about 45. For the SB brand, the blade itself is 39, and the whole bay blade is 47. 2 grams heavier overall. For Wise Tiger, 34 for the blade, and the whole blade blade is 43. For the fake one, the blade itself is 35, and the whole bay blade is wow, some earthquake is 44. Wow, one grams heavier. Last but not least, black shell 32 for the blade and 40 for the entire bay blade, and for the fake one, it's 33 for the blade and 42 for the entire blade blade, also heavier. So overall on the weight test, the fake one is heavier than the real one, which is good and I'm impressed because you know it's always fun to play with heavier blade blade, which means heavier attack. And now we have the performance test against the real deal. I'm gonna do one on one, the fake one versus the real one. Let's start with left spin Kobo Dragoon. I always trying to say Kobo Drake. Sorry. First with the fake one, the movement is very similar. And extreme dash. Good job. The real deal. Now we have the real one launching first. And fake one. Woohoo! Wow, the real one burst the fake one. And then we got Wise Tiger. I wonder if the bit acts more like a Taper or a Unite. Let's see. And the real one knocks out the fake one. Haha. <laughs> well, Unite is more like a hit or miss. Sometimes it acts like crazy, like a Taper. So I, I kind of like United, but I, I would say it's a more round Taper. Sometimes it acts like a point. It has more stamina, which is pretty cool. And the fake one wins this time. And Black Shell. Yo, you guys need to watch this. This is a highlight moment. Look at the real one, how it knocks out the fake one with an extreme dash. Pretty cool, right? And we've got a stamina battle here. It's, it's pretty dope too. It's not as boring as like a needle bit. And the real one wins. Pretty cool. And now we got the fun part. Imagine Kobo Dragoon has a right spin. First, we have the black shell lock in, and then a right spin Kobo Dragoon. Hoo -hoo -hoo! It's pretty strong, not gonna lie. And then we got Wise Tiger next up. Right spin versus right spin. Let's see how strong is the attack. Damn! The lid literally fell off. Fake Kobo Dragoon wasn't burst, and Wise Tiger is burst. If you know, you know. These illegal opposite spin Beyblade has no burst because of the ratchet. So let's see if that will apply to Wise Tiger. Right spin Wise Tiger is pretty underrated. Let's see what's going on with left spin. Woohoo! And it freaking burst Kobo Dragoon. Wow, this illegal opposite spin Beyblade is crazy. And we have Black Shell, right versus left. Let's see if we can burst it. Ooh, the attack is aggressive. Multiple attack. And it outspin. Damn, son. Well, hope you guys like this video. To be honest, I'm very impressed with the SB brand release this time. I know that at some point, the fake manufacturer will make all Beyblade X dual spin, which happens to Metal Fusion Beyblade, and I, I, I like it. 
because Beyblade is all about you know making combos and testing out all the possibilities plus they're heavier so I will give them a pass for sure